back to my channel. So today I'm doing a showdown of the eyebrow pencils, or at least five eyebrow pencils that I'm going to be sharing with you today. A lot of the times I kind of go through phases where I'll love something and I'll use it a lot, and then I'll find something else that I love and use it a lot, and something else, and so on and so on, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I don't love the other ones as much, I just found something new that I'm totally obsessed with. The whole eyebrow pencil craze has been going on a while now, it's kind of a trending thing, and so I wanted to kind of help y'all out because there's so many out there on the market and so many different good ones, and so yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to kind of show y'all what my favorites were and give you a good demonstration of what they look like and the kind of look that you can get out of them because every eyebrow pencil can kind of give you different looks. So I'm going to go take these eyebrows off real quick and be back in a second. Alright, so I took my eyebrows off. These are my natural eyebrows. They aren't too pretty. They need a little bit of help, definitely. I'm going to start first with the... Anastasia Brow Wiz. This video isn't really specifically like in depth how I feel in my eyebrows with a pencil. Um, I'm not going to really go too much in depth. But if you would like a like real in depth tutorial on how I do my eyebrows with a pencil, I can definitely do that because the one I have up right now, which I will still link down below, is with gel. So I will um, definitely in the future, very close future, be doing a video with how I do it with pencil. But for right now, I'm just going to quickly kind of go through it. So I will zoom y'all in. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. That is what I'm currently wearing and you saw the close-ups and everything. So basically just a rough overview, kind of your basic pencil. It has the spoolie on one side and then the product on the other. So I basically just did my eyebrows with this as you saw. I really, really still enjoy this product. I don't use it in my tutorials that often anymore, but I do use it um, I would say maybe once or twice a week. Um, what I really, really like using this for, and as you can see, this gives really, really dramatic eyebrows. If you are someone who just loves a really dramatic dark brow, then this is probably the pencil that you will like the most. This pencil comes in a variety of different shades, so it is very easy to kind of scale down or scale up depending on if you want your eyebrows to be lighter or darker or how you want them to be. It is very easy with this pencil to choose your color and kind of, you have a lot of control, I guess, with the intensity of your eyebrows blend out pretty nicely. So I would give this a nice 8 out of 10. I do really, really enjoy this pencil. I think it's really awesome. And yeah, for me personally, it just gives really, really dramatic brows. So if that's what you're into, then I would definitely recommend this Anastasia one. the IT Cosmetics Your Brows But Better Brow Pencil. It looks like this, and I personally, this is my favorite at the moment, and let me tell you why for a second. Um, this is something that I really, really recommend to people who are just starting in maybe doing their eyebrows, who are a little skeptical or scared to fill in their eyebrows. This is something I really recommend because A, it's super easy. It has a spoolie on one end and then like the pencil on the other. This only comes in one color. It's called Universal Taupe, and it is literally magic. It works on every single hair, skin tone combination that I've ever tried to use it on. I've tried this on super duper blonde girls all the way to girls with dark like black hair and it works perfectly. It like somehow blends with their hair and just looks amazing. So anyways, I really really love this and I recommend this to anyone who is maybe just starting or is skeptical or even if you're just like, hey, I just don't want to go through the hassle of matching my hair color because that can sometimes be really tedious and you have to buy and return and repurchase and stuff like that. So yeah, I really 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 recommend this one. I absolutely love this product. For me, this is like the perfect 10. I think this is awesome. So, and it's also super blendable. It looks really natural in my opinion. It's easy to build up so you can make it more natural or you can make it more dramatic. This is just an all-around awesome product for me and I really, really love this. Next one I'm going to be putting to the test is another IT Cosmetics one. This is the Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. Again, in Universal Taupe. Only comes in one shade. So, um, the difference... The main difference between this one is it has this really cool like shape where it's more like oblong and um, the other side's pretty much the same little spoolie.
the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. And this one, actually, I'm pretty surprised, is I think the most dramatic out of all of them so far. Kind of like a softer consistency, I would say. It's not like that stark, like really like pencil that the other ones are. This is more of like a softer, almost putty type consistency that you're putting on, which I know sounds weird and like why would I put that on my face, but it dries. It's perfectly fine. It's not wet or anything. It's just kind of like this like weird kind of like mushy formula, I guess. And so I think it really just like sticks to your brows a lot. Um Alright, so the next one I'm going to be trying out is this e.l.f. one. Again, I don't know the name of this, but I'll have it listed on the screen right now. And this is a drugstore version, basically, kind of like a dupe for the Anastasia one and the IT Cosmetics one, where it just has, like, the spoolie on this side, which the spoolie, you can tell, is a little bit, like, of a lower-end type thing, but I mean, like, that's not a make-or-break for me, honestly. And then the other side is just, like, this pencil, which is quite a bit thicker than the Anastasia and the, um... It Cosmetics, Your Brows But Better, but I would say it's probably in between the two It Cosmetics ones, the Brow Power and the um, Your Brows But Better. It's a little bit thicker, and I think it's more of that kind of consistency like the Brow Power it is, so this will probably give kind of more dramatic, I would say, but um, we'll just see. I'm going to jump right in. about this I actually am really enjoying it sorry I'm like looking at the viewfinder I'm actually really really liking this um, it does give definitely a darker I would say this is something that's definitely gonna be darker but still not quite super dramatic it's dark but it's very soft this is something that's very very easy to blend even with this spoolie like I said that isn't the best spoolie in the world this is extremely extremely easy to blend it is dark but that is also because I am in the shade well, this is in the shade Neutral Brown. The only other drawback about this is that it only comes in like two or three shades right now, I want to say, and nothing very light. It's either Dark Brown or Neutral Brown, which is what I'm in. But I do really like this. As you can see, like my arch is super defined here because this is super easy. It's honestly for me, for my eyebrow shape, the perfect size for the wing because I literally just draw a line and it's like perfect. So that's really, really nice. I really enjoy it if you um, like kind of like the sharper kind of tail wing thing like I have going on here. But yeah, this is honestly like a really good product. This is super easy to blend. I would honestly say too. If you are um, kind of newer to doing your brows or you're scared to do it, this is probably a good product to start off with, especially because it is so inexpensive. Really easy to blend and just like pretty easy to put on. I mean, super fast too. I did this in like 30 seconds. So yeah, um, I really, really like this. I would probably give this like a 7 or an 8. Still, it's not that like amazing wow, but I do really, really enjoy this. And for the price, like you can't beat that. This is awesome. Do love this product. Alright, so the last one I'm going to try is this NYX Eye and Eyebrow Pencil, and this is in medium brown. I have never tried this before, but I've heard good reviews about it, so I'm just going to give it a shot. Um, the only kind of so far drawbacks that I don't like about it is you have to sharpen it. It's not like the twist up kind which I don't know for me is just personally like another extra step but um I can see past it if it's amazing and then it also doesn't have a spoolie on the end which is another kind of drawback for me because I think that's really important to have something to like brush it out with so I'm just going to kind of do it with my fingers because I want to give you a full like actual review like if this is the only thing that you had so yeah that's what I'm going to do but um I'm just going to jump right into it and I'll let you know in just a second. right off the bat here this is my least favorite um it has a very eyeliner like consistency which it does say eye and eyebrow pencil so maybe I should try this more like as an eyeliner but I don't know it just has more of that wet kind of like liner consistency and I'm just not a fan of that I think it looks really really unnatural to be completely honest like it looks very very fake up close especially it's almost shiny it's not like natural hair looking and I just found it very hard especially since it's a pencil like it became dull in like two seconds which for eyeliner when I'm just putting it like in my waterline and stuff is no big deal but for my eyebrows like this one turned out great and then this one was just kind of not 
Also, since it has no blending like spoolie, there was nothing to kind of like diffuse the product anywhere, so that's a drawback. Um, it's just very unnatural looking, which personally for me, I'm not a fan of, and it just has like no layer, no dimension, it just doesn't look natural. It's just kind of like stuck in my eyebrows. So honestly, this is like a four or five. Like the only time I could see myself using this is like maybe for like dance competitions or cheer or something. Also, this was very like when I was trying to blend it out with my fingers, it's really messy. It got like all up in my like hairline almost like mixing with my bronzer and I had to sit there and like blend that out so that was a mess anyways just bottom line I don't recommend this one. All right, y'all, so that is the results of my eyeliner showdown. I don't really have a winner. I just kind of have, like, those are my recommendations for you. Like, if you're looking for a certain look or a certain price range or consistency or something like that, those are my recommendations. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, as always, remember that you're beautiful because you're made in God's image, and I'll talk to y'all soon. And don't forget to leave suggestions down below about videos you want to see because I want to know what y'all want to see so I can make it for y'all. So, yeah, talk to y'all later. Mwah. Bye.